Hello guys, it's me Carson, it's like I have Carnet 5 and I have some breaking news that just came out in the NASCAR world. So, NASCAR Senior Vice President, I believe, Elton Sawyer has announced that Austin Dillon's win from last Sunday will not count towards the playoffs, which is a bad news for him because it's three laps, I mean, three races ago, and I don't think Michigan, Daytona, and I believe Darlington. <laughs> it's gonna, they're gonna be tough tries for him to get that win that he wants. So yeah, and then on the other side, Joey Logano will get a fifty thousand dollar fine for doing a burnout in Austin Dillon's pit stall. So what does it say about Joey Logano and Austin Dillon? I kind of feel like. The sanctioning body did a good job on the the penalties, you know, and I believe it's fair and it gives both drivers to be accountable in the near future if they ever do it again. So all I can say is it's fair game for them. So But Logano, he's in the playoffs though, so good thing they didn't strip a win that he got from Nashville, so and to be to be fair and honest, that's it can go go both ways. You either give him a fine or strip him of a playoff win. So yeah. So what I have here is a video clip from frontstretch.com showing some evidence that Richard Childer was lying when he overheard some uh, spotter or crew chief communication saying, oh, wreck him, wreck him, wreck him. And all these social media platforms or these journalists wanted to know whether he was lying or not. So I'll give you a few seconds and then give your reaction to how it felt. So I'll play it this way. Hold on. So I kind of don't side Richard Childress's uh, side of saying, oh, that was after the race, after the race. Ooh. I'm kind of starting to like, not like Richard Childress at all, you know, and yeah, a majority of the race fans don't like Richard Childress, even before he had Dale Earnhardt and after Dale Earnhardt died, so, yeah, even Teresa Earnhardt ain't liking it either, so, <laughs> yeah, it's just, RCR has been going downhill this season, and yeah, Snyder, Austin, Dillon, or Kyle Busch make the playoffs, and neither of them are in right now, and just to be fair and square, just, yeah, I don't think Austin Dillon's going to make the playoffs, even with his penalty of his Richmond win not counting towards the playoffs, so. I stand by my opinion, and people are entitled to their, their opinions and saying, hey, it's a it's a fair deal. No bias towards either driver between Logano and Dylan. Maybe Ham, Danny Hamlin too, but yeah, in his uh, podcast, Actions Detrimental, he was really, really vocal and elaborate about it so and he says as a sanctioning body if you do not penalize anybody in a big way then all these race going drivers are going to be maniacs all, all the time so the cup level is supposed to show everybody that you are well prepared to do the job and then and win races the fair way so so what do you guys think about the news that I broke out between Austin Dillon and Joey Logano? 
Leave a comment right below the description so you can get some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. Give us a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And click that bell notification button so you can get future videos from my YouTube channel, Happy Corner 95. So, once again, I'm Happy Corner 95. Hope you all have a good evening and peace out.